Hey guys, the Cube did here, and today I have a hexaming solve for you guys. I know I said a long time ago I'd be doing one, but I finally have one for you guys. This is about like an 8 minute, 32 seconds solve, I think. But today I'm just going to be going over all of my pet peeves, so I might start ranting halfway through because some of these things kind of really make me mad. But to start this list off, hashtag is one of the most annoying things in the world. On Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, it's just useless. It means absolutely nothing. Why not just not put the hashtag and just put I'm at the beach or something instead of hashtag beach, hashtag sun, hashtag sun rays or something. Next, swag and hipsters, not a thing. Those are very, very annoying. If you have glasses, they should be prescription glasses or sunglasses. They should not have no lenses in them. If you're wearing glasses, just wear, just if, I don't know, just don't wear glasses without lenses just to seem hip. Some other ones, some other pet peeves. When people try to push their personal views onto you, that's very annoying. If you have your own personal views, you don't have to force other people to believe in those views. Some other stuff would be people asking for shout-outs. Now, that is something I really don't like. If anybody wants a shout-out, please do not ask me for a shout-out. I love all of my fans. I love talking to all my fans on Skype, on Uvu, even though I don't really go on Uvu, on Facebook, pretty much everywhere, on email also. I just don't like when people say, hey, can I get a shout-out? Because then, I don't know, it's just really, it's really annoying. Some other things involving people talking to me would be people asking me, why aren't you answering? If I'm not answering, I'm probably not at my computer, so I will answer when, most of the time when I get back. And almost like 99% of the time, I'll answer when I get back from whatever I was doing. But you don't need to ask me, why, aren't, why am I not answering? I don't need constant emails or messages saying, why aren't you answering me? Please answer me. Please answer me. Because I, I usually will answer you 99% of the time, unless for some odd reason I just don't see your message. But there's that. Some other things involving Skype and messaging would be when people message me on Skype when I'm on Do Not Disturb. When I'm on Do Not Disturb, I'm usually sleeping. I like to keep Skype on all night. I don't really know why. I usually keep my computer on when I sleep because I watch Netflix. And when people message me when I say when I'm on Do Not Disturb, it's just I wasn't, like I don't really want to talk to people then because I don't want to be disturbed. And also, just message me if I'm on uh, the online or the away. Come on, do not disturb, please do not message me. Some other things, double negatives, those really piss me off when people say, I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money, that means you have money. So you gotta, you gotta figure it out. You can't just use double negatives because it most of the time means exactly the opposite of what you're trying to mean, or trying to say. Some other things, texting while driving, even at red lights, it's still against the law. I know some of you guys, if you guys are driving, you guys probably do that at red lights, but anyways. Another pet peeve of mine is when people say, I'm fine, because half the time, or 99% of the time, when they say, I'm fine, it means they're not fine. So that's annoying. Justin Bieber, another one, not going to go into that. One really big pet peeve of mine is strict parents who don't let their kids really live their life. Like, they won't let the kids go somewhere because they just, quote-unquote, can't handle it. Or they check their Facebook and start stalking them and reading all their messages. That's very annoying, too. Another pet peeve of mine is when people don't actually quit the application on a Mac. Instead, they just click the little red X or they minimize the window. And then, eventually, they just have a bunch of apps open and they don't even know it because they think they quit out of it. So, after that, we got people using words wrong. That's... What am I, that's actually, that's on my that's on the top of my list. When people use the wrong your, when they say you're welcome, Y O U R welcome, it's not my welcome. It's I am welcome. You are welcome. So Y O U apostrophe R E is the correct way. Some other things are there, 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 two, 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 bye, 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 and of course the yours. Those are very, very, very annoying. I always correct people when they use the wrong your, and. People don't really like when I correct them, but I just it's just a big pet peeve of mine. It's very, very annoying because they got to figure out how to use the words right. Another thing, I'm down for that, slash I'm up for that. Why does down and up mean the exact same thing? When someone says I'm down for that or I'm up for that, it's, it's just like, okay, I'll do that. I don't get down and up are opposites, but somehow when you use them, they, they mean the exact same thing. It's very, very annoying. One other thing, almost at the end of my list here, and then you guys can finish the hexaming solve with some music. Uh, when it's kind of a, it's kind of something weird, when uh, what is it called? Cashiers give you coins on top of the bills because then they like start sliding all over the place. I'd much rather the coins first and then the bills on top because then the coins won't slide all over the place, and that's just 
I don't know, it's just me, maybe. I've only heard it from me. Another thing, poetry. I absolutely hate poetry so much. Poetry is one of the stupidest things, in my opinion. If you get, because, for example, you could just make poetry like saying random words like the tree said to the goldfish that the bone was cracking with the wind. Somehow that means something, but really poetry just absolutely sucks. At my school, there's poetry every Monday and Thursday during a chapel when they're doing announcements and stuff. It's very annoying. It's one of the most annoying things in the world. The second on my list, as you guys can tell, this is clearly not in order. The second pet peeve on the top of my list is when people use gay, retarded, and faggot in a negative way. When, like, when they're trying to say something stupid, they say, oh, that's so gay, that's so retarded, you're such a faggot. That is very annoying. Please stop doing it. I lose a little bit of respect for people whenever they do that. I'm sorry if you just do that all the time. It's just not nice. It's not right. And I honestly do lose a little bit of respect for you once you do that. So we're on to the second to last pet peeve, and that one would be when parents come into your room by opening the door, so your door is closed to begin with, they come in your room, they tell you something, and then they leave with the door open. And clearly you want the door closed because the door is closed to begin with. And the last pet peeve of mine was when you call someone, or when somebody calls you on their phone, and then you call them right back like a few seconds later, and then they don't pick up. It's like they just threw their phone and ran for their life. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little pet peeve video of mine. If you guys have any of your own pet peeves, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions on how to improve my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and read the description for the Letter War winners. This video's letters are OLL. Read the description if you're confused about what these letters are for. Discounts and coupons can be found in the description as well. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Thank you.